you my name is farmer phil and today we are going to be mucking out the shed the bulls um but first we have to go push in and that barking you can hear is bertie's pups i see one of them there anyways the rest of them are in there eating and, and messing oh geez they're they're a nuisance at the minute because they're able to run around wherever they want and we can't keep them anywhere they're eating through put them in a corral they break down the corral or they ate through the plywood of the corral they're just being a nuisance at the minute but hopefully now we can get them shifted i think we have two left to, to get sold but anyways we go we push in first then we have to barricade up the yard get the bulls out and then we can start cleaning out the shed we're also cleaning out the heifers and the calves well we'll start off with the bulls anyways and we'll get them cleaned out they're all on straw but we're going to be putting mill peat back under them because we cannot keep them clean and we're throwing in two bales of straw every two days and it's it's cheaper to bed than with mill peat it's the honest truth the more straw we're going through at the minute if we keep going as we're going we won't have any straw for bedding calves in the spring so we're going to put them back on mill peat they'll be cleaner and hopefully we'll get a lot of them shifted and um, maybe before christmas maybe and def de definitely in january Jeez, we want them all gone in january well anyways we get to it now we're going to get pushing in so just something for anyone that is watching my videos for the first time and as most of you already know that watch my videos the teleport is very rattly and bangy so our rattles the top of the gear stick rattles the latch for that window rattles and that's where most of the noise comes from but one of the other things that's wrong is the engine the bushings of the engine mounting are gone and we need to get them replaced it's a bit ordered but from what my father was saying it's a very big job he reckons we'll have to rip the floor out of the telly and failing that if we can't we'll have to take off the cab or lift the cab or something because it's the bushings or the engine and for the gearbox as well to my understanding the bushings are gone and it's giving it the vibration and it's a job of trying to loosen them and then jacking the whole lot up and hopefully there's enough space and getting new bushings in and tightening everything down not just going to be a simple job but hopefully now we'll get it done over Christmas with all them other jobs I said we were going to do we're just under frost pressure at the minute so we are my uncle isn't well but he's well if that makes any sense he's just not doing he's not able to do any farm work at the minute so it's only me and my father and we're under a lot more pressure than we normally are to try and get around all the jobs and then get caught up on all the other jobs as well so anyways I'm going to leave it at that and I'll finish the pushing in and um, we'll go start barricading to get these bulls out. have our bucket on my father just has the first barricade in place so we'll fill that gap there and then we're ready to let out the bulls then I uh, just something on my father um we're trying to come up with a, a, a nickname for him the way that Tom Pemberton has the ginger warrior and call the corn star has daddy corn star someone did call him and want to come and my father daddy Phil which we got a right good laugh out of but um if you have any suggestions, hit me down in the comments down below. Um, it's something we're, 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 we're thinking of trying to get a, a good nickname for them. But anyways, there's the bulls we're letting out there. So they're ready to be cleaned out. They were to be bedded down yesterday, but we, we didn't. So we're going to clean them out today. Also, we were trying supposed to clean them out yesterday, but the way things turned out, we just couldn't do it. We just couldn't do it. So i got to try and get myself back in here a bit better now. Till it hits, just... Oh, back a bit. Right. Test that. And I got this old rattly girl. 
and um, yeah, we'll go open up this gate and we get these boys out. Um, it is still a bit windy for the drone, so I'm not going to get the drone up when we put them out, but hopefully now I get the drone up when we start cleaning it out and um, we get some good footage. The dunk is literally there, so it's just back out in there. We we'll clean out the heifers down there in the passage of the calves and the passage of them calves, all before I go away. Me and my girlfriend are going to see her family in England later on today, so I have to get all done before I can go and I'll probably be editing this on the plane or that to have it for Sunday. Hopefully this goes up on Sunday, but we'll have to wait and see. It's very hard to make plans when things can always go astray on yourself. So anyways, we'll get to it. Pull this out here. There. Now, I have to get a 19 spanner to open up that case. So now, that's the bulls out. As you can see, they're not just over clean, but that always tends to be the way to straw sheds. But when one night on the millpeat, I'll show you at the end of the video after they've been on the millpeat for a night, how clean they are. And you won't go over it. It's, it's like I spent all night power washing them. But I'll show that at the end of the video. We make it back into what we're doing now. The wind has died down, so I might put up the drone now on my father start cleaning out the shed he'll use the loading shovel i'll use the telly so that's it the wind is bad again for another day so hopefully it doesn't spoil this one like it did one of the last ones so we'll get to it anyway so everyone just starting to clean out the shed now i'm going to put this up so everyone can see um i just want to give a shout out to two couple of lads Paul Snell from North Devon, he asked for a shout out so he watches the videos and um, the Smith family, Ryan, Noel and Dylan, shout out to you as well so I'll put this up and I'll get working now before my father starts giving out so where we put this, there maybe
So now everyone, that took 30 minutes to clean out. Hopefully it'll fast forward nicely. But um, just a few things I want to say. You've seen the amount of stuff. We cleaned this shed out just before the farm walk. A couple of days before the farm walk was better with straw. But as you might have seen in the dung pit, it's not packed up very high because you can't. Once it starts raining on the mill peat, it gets wet and sloppy and it just flows everywhere. It's damnable stuff like that. Great stuff for spreading, great stuff for grassland and dung, and dung wise. But it's damnable stuff to try and keep in the pit. So my battery is nearly dead in this. So I'm going to keep it short and sweet from now on. So I can video everything else that needs to be videoed. So we'll leave it at that for now. And we will um, get this load of mill peat in and tipped. So now, our load of mill peat is after arriving. I'm outside now, so it is quite windy. I'm also trying to fly the drone at the same time. So, as easy as ever, as you can see there. So, I'll stand and try and keep the wind behind me, and we'll get this in. So now, as you can see there, you might see through the back window too well. The trailers in the shed is literally the full of the shed as you've seen from the drone footage there. But um, I think what we're going to end up doing now is we did the last time. I'm going to sort of drag buckets out of the arse of the, the, arse of the trailer. So we don't have to bulldoze it all in through the, the shed. So that, that trailer will do this shed and another shed. It's a 20 foot. Uh, Broughton trailer carries a ferocious pile of peat Ferocious pile Right, I'm, I'm needed now so Ready for the rattles and bangs Oh, handbrake No, I can't really hold this on operate So, I'm not going to get squared at that So anyways, what I gotta do now is I got to um, Pull some mark buckets out there so I'll tell you what I just, I'll just stick this up out here.
So now that's all I can reach with the with the teleporter. So we'll tip a bit outside the gap and we should have enough then to do these bulls six weeks and then we'll tip the rest of the load up in the yard so we're beside the heifers for doing them. So we'll turn off the GoPro and we'll concentrate on the drone now. So this is our mill peat, so lovely dry stuff, great soakage in it, huge soakage, does a great job keeping cattle clean and tidy and dry, and yeah about six weeks out of it. So we have to clean them out next and put that in there, that's why we tip that there. That is a bit awkward to get into, so we have to take out that barrier, we have to shut the calves up, let the heifers out, or let the calves out and shut the heifers in, and we'll also clean out some of that shedding along the feeding barrier, which always tends to be bad and then um, we have to clean out the shed there as well, the feeding barrier, but that's it anyways. Um, I may go see if I can charge my GoPro for a few minutes while we're fluting about leveling mill pee and that, so that um, I can record more stuff. But anyways, we'll leave it at that for now. So now, we'll go about leveling our piles of mill pee into the shed, and try and do as little driving as we can over it, so it doesn't get compacted into the ground. So we'll get all this in first and then we'll, we'll level out the two big piles fairly well. We'll keep it back from the feed barrier, but normally speaking the cattle will always end up just walking a heavy, every inch of the shed. So really you don't really need to shake out the piles either really, because they do it themselves. They'll knock a bit of crack and tidy themselves up, poking at the piles of milk peat, but we'll level it out just then, make it look nice and tidy for them. So. I think I'm going to just put down the camera, there's not much point in trying to video on this yoke rattling away I know I know it's quite a few people and just for everyone, I've been at said a few times by the way buy a new one and if you haven't already heard me say it we want about 4 euro a kilo for our beef, for the bulls, never mind the heifers or the bullocks before you could even consider going and buying a new teleporter so that's not going to happen anytime soon. Not anytime soon. So, anyways, we'll doze out these piles of stuff now. And um, we'll leave it at that for now. I think we're going to go get a mug of coffee now. And uh, well, well, once we get the bulls back in, of course. But we'll leave it at that for now. Make sure I can get the video of the bulls going back in. So, so now, everyone, the bulls are back in. The camera died just doing that. Went out. I gave it a bit of charge. We're just cleaning out the heifers and the calves. I'm in a bit of pressure now to go. The heifers, when we got them out, decided to jump over gates and barriers. Oh Jesus! Broke our hearts. But we're just under pressure. I didn't get to video any of that. But that's the bulls on the mill pink now. I won't be able to do what I said and show you them. Um, show you them in at the end of the video clean as I'll be editing this while I'm away. So in the next video, I'll show you what they look like. Now, what a, what a things now they got fresh bed. They spend most of today going around riding other and pucking and they will lose a bit of condition. But however, at least they'll be clean and they'll put it on as quick as they lost it. So that is really it from me. I'm under pressure now to get back to the house. I don't even know when I have time to shower. 
Maybe a bit of a smell of shake off me going through security, but however. So I may keep motoring. So that is it for the video. And uh, one thing I just wanted to say on um the our shed situation or why some of you may wonder why don't we have slats so, uh, why do we bed the sheds over slats but well, the simple reason is we've um one slatted shed and it's only five foot deep we are on very rocky ground there's only a couple of inches of topsoil and then you're onto pure bedrock and when they dug out that first slatted tank five foot was all they could go and they took out a boulder that had to be broken up is originally the size of a 35 that size of a rock and that had to be broken up and go out and they said they weren't going to go any deeper in case they found another one and just leveled it off but that's one of the reasons why we don't have slatted sheds because we you know, just really can't and um so that's that so um i'm under quite a bit of pressure so um i can't think of anything else but anyways that's mucking out i think i got some pretty good drone footage and that so we'll leave it at that for today's video i hope you enjoyed this video as always comments hit me down in the comments down below if you have any questions or anything caps beanies amazon store all of that you know where to go in the description down below for all that stuff christmas is coming be a nice time to get yourself a bit of farmer film merchandise for someone and all of that crack. I'm all breaking off to run around after them heifers. But anyways, we'll leave it at that. Hope you enjoyed this video. That is it from me. Good luck.